Hi, and welcome to my channel where we discuss everything from self-development to commentary. So today we're diving into season two, episode three of the show Rap Ish. And in this episode, we see that the two characters are facing a tough road ahead of them. Two different roads, but tough nonetheless. First, let's go ahead and talk about the show itself. So the show itself is a comedy drama series created by none other than Issa Rae. And if you're unfamiliar with Issa Rae's previous work, she has done some of my favorite movies and TV shows, one being The Photograph, okay? And she's also done Insecure and The Adventures of the Awkward Black Girl. They're former high school friends. One of them has always wanted to be a rapper. The other one is more of, I'm gonna do this for the bag type quote unquote. And the show is really known for its like witty and relatable characters. I actually thought this was a reality show when it first came out, but it's not. It's actually a pretty good scripted show. So if you're a fan of it, or if you just want to hear what the show is about, you've definitely come to the right spot. And I'll make sure to give you my opinion about the show at the end of the podcast. Okay, so Mia goes and meets Cash and they have sex. So they hook up all weekend. The only thing is Mia is really insecure and she kind of is very pessimistic about the whole relationship. Like he thinks he, Mia thinks he's hiding something. And honestly, I kind of feel like he's too perfect as well. And I remember when she asked him a question about his old girlfriend, it was very vague. It was just oh, you're way better than her. And I don't feel like that was, I just don't feel like it was the best way to answer the question. So I'm kind of with Mia on this. So Mia's texting her actual friends about, you know, her date or her, um, her little appointment that she had with Cash. And she's all excited about it. She's like sending them pictures of them together in bed and... The next thing you know, this lady runs into her, like physically, bam, hits her shoulder in the airport. And I don't know if that like threw her off or whatever, but she ended up doing the absolute, <laughs> she ended up doing something that I think is like everybody's worst fear. She texted the wrong person. So she texted Cash something that was supposed to go to her group chat. And you can only imagine what it said. It said stuff like got him or uh, locked in or something like that. But it was enough to make him react back with question marks. Real When she realizes what she actually did, my heart went out to her. I'm like, God, she can never get a break. Neither one of these girls, they can never seem to catch a break. All right, so now we're moving on to Mia. Mia is with one of my favorite characters, Duke the Pimp, who I see it for Duke. Duke has so much potential in that little bitty package. She's good with money. She's good with people. She can like be resourceful and get her way out of trouble real easily. These are like traits I wish that I had. She's always like, Mia's always like looking down on Duke, but really Duke is probably more level-headed than she is. Like Shauna, Shauna, do you realize you were out here so bad you had to steal tampons? That's what you had to do. Like Duke is not out here stealing tampons. Like she told you, give her that $12 <laughs> and she will make something happen with it. So our girl Shauna, Poor thing. She's on hard times, y'all. So Shauna finds out that she's going to be like the investigation for the bank fraud, for the credit card fraud scam she was running. It's getting a little too close to home. The guy who she did it with, her former co-worker and booty call, he's now being questioned, him and his other friend who was also involved, He's now being questioned about it. And I think it's very close to them like filing charges on it. 
but he lets her know all this and you know she feels really bad about it duke is even like giving her advice you know just stay ahead of whatever it is the cops know just get out and get in front of it but everyone who she did the scam with is now they're like all turning on each other so everyone's thinking that the other one did it and somebody's ratting to the cop. And in the midst of all this going on in her head, she still finds a way to steal out of a gas station. Shauna had a hoodie on and I kid you not, everything she stole, you could see it <laughs> under her hoodie. Hey, I'm building something great over here and I really want you to be a part of it. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Like she does not know how to steal. She had snacks falling out of her pants. <laughs> and she like tries to hurry up and run out. Oh, but again, Duke saved her. So I'm assuming everyone who she did the fraud scam thing with they think she's the one cooperating. So the guy who, I, like I said, was her former coworker, I, his name escapes me at the moment, who she would also hook up with, he calls her and gets her to say, I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. And boom, that's a wrap. He recorded it. And I'm like, why would you choose those words? I'm not sure how she would even say that given the fact I think they bought the scam to her. So I don't know why she would say sorry. I don't know why she would say sorry in that way. Like I thought she would be like, oh man, I feel bad that all of this is happening to you. But no, she definitely incriminated herself and he definitely got that recorded oh my god shauna and like oh my god so yeah that is pretty much the show the two girls have a lot going on and both of them are riding like really fine lines because to be honest i don't i can't imagine one without the other on stage at this point i don't know if that would sell but anyways I'm going to get out of here. What do y'all think? Well, but anyways, I'm going to be getting out of here. I would, before I go, I just want to ask you, what do you think will become, like, what do you think would become of the group if one had to not be in the group? Let me know your thoughts about the show down below. I give this show like a, at least a seven out of 10 stars. Definitely, you know, Gilded Age, 10 out of 10. But to say that this is a drama and a comedy and it's really relatable and engaging content that you don't have to like be invested into these individuals outside of just what it is. Like, I don't need to know what Shauna and Mia are doing on social media. Like that's the vibe I get from like reality TV. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. I feel so grateful because like not a lot of people in the world like me get to um, be in a trap house. So. So crack is fun. Crack is not fun. No, I mean, I think it must be fun. That's why people go back, right? Uh, oh, do I feel?